Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. You are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio on Wilson Block 100 Live. Let's get it. Shifting into new gears, clear with a new lens. I lost enough friends. Blessed to reconnect with real ones from decades gone. Something brand new that feels like an old song. I remember being in parts dismembered. Heart healing in December, darkest part of winter. Shining with all my might, just to have a little light. As long as I know I gave it all I had, I will be alright. No matter how this lands, you can't measure impact from the eye of the storm. And that center of chaos is where I was born. Those drug wars have forced hip hop to form so sharp and cutting. Real life, you're bumping. We didn't come from nothing. What we had got stole. And we're still running underneath the sniper scope. We all know. So folks find ways to cope. And I keep on losing my people to cope. Crack crystal balls. Watch futures fall. I can't catch them all or any. My advice gets drowned out with the henny. So I don't know what else to say. We just take it day by day. Take what you afraid of and stare it in the face Call it by its name and watch it change I don't know what else to say Just take it day by day How you do anything, how you do everything Maybe we should start with the little thing I told my little cousin, smoke herb, don't drink He was in high school already experimenting I never had enough influence to sway him Away from the bottle, life is full throttle He still got time though, I'm learning to let go Of my expectations of the best and worst Alcohol still triggers my deepest hurts I've lost friends to crack, but they were drinking first I fell out of love with a woman I adored When she was at the bar, I was easy to ignore Have you ever loved someone, look deep in their eyes And knew everything that they said was a lie While knowing exactly what they were trying to hide I wasn't judging, so I couldn't see why We couldn't even have a real talk at the time And I'm not trying to diagnose anybody now As the empire crumbles, we're all falling down I write songs when it's hard to reach out Hoping that somebody feels me Cause where I'm at, it's like nobody hears me I don't know what else to say We just take it day by day Take what you afraid to stare it in the face Call it by its name and watch it change I don't know what else to say Just take it day by day How you do anything, how you do everything Maybe we should start with the little things Maybe that's why we all try to describe the vibe If we don't, we die and I mean that quite literal Music kept me alive, time is critical I've been sober ever since I held my first mic in When I write, there's nowhere I can hide I set the stage on fire to feel alive Cool all is easy when the people feel me There's no way to hide, could imagine the fun It gets hard and scary and dark sometimes I don't need no spick pen motherfucker looking at me like I'm no f- Yes, sir, and welcome back to Wilson Block 100 Radio Live. That was your boy Gabriel T.O. Dross with Little Things off of the album Evidence of Things Not Seen. You know what I mean? And you can get that on all digital platforms. You know what I mean? You can even check it out on the WilsonBlock.net. And yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Today we're talking about the basic things every local artist should have. You know what I mean? And like I say before, man, I'm no expert in any field. You know what I mean? But... You know, there is some basic things that, you know, you know, you can do for yourself to just put yourself in good position. You know what I'm saying? Be prepared to, uh, you know, send your stuff out, introduce your brand and, and your craft and everything that it is that you do. You know what I mean? So um, first and foremost, I want to talk about the bio. You know what I'm saying? A biography is very important. And this is one of the very, you know, simple steps in the in the in the very beginning stages that you know, is often overlooked amongst local artists. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's be real. We're artists. So, you know, all we're really focused on is is doing the art. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we're not really hip to the whole, you know, crafting the whole image and brand thing. You know what I'm saying? Most of us aren't when we start. You know what I'm saying? It's really just about uh, being inspired to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? And do it. But, um, you know, having a bio- biography is very important. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know, ha- you know, talk to somebody that can help you if you need help. But if you can write a biography about yourself, you know, at least 300 words, you know what I'm saying? 
that'll give people a pretty, you know what I'm saying, um, brief, nice and sweet description about who you are. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, you're going to need that, you know what I'm saying, when you submit, you know what I mean? And, uh, you, know, you know, excuse me, when you submit, you know what I'm saying, different for different events and, you know, just when you promote yourself, you know what I'm saying? You just got to have a biography that's clear, concise, you know what I'm saying, descriptive and informative, you know what I'm saying? And it's very important and every local artist should have it. You know what I'm saying? Should I, I think Bing Bing ain't even got it. I got to get on that. You know what I mean? But, um, moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Every local artist should have professional photos. You know what I mean? I promote artists, man. So, you know, I, you know, one of the main things that I come across is that, you know, local artists just don't have professional photography. You know what I'm saying? And so when I'm giving them a feature on the website, when I'm putting them in the magazine, a lot of times, I have to go really search and find the best photo that I can find of them. You know what I'm saying? But if every local artist, man, every artist out there, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying, get some professional shots done, you know what I'm saying? And you put that with your portfolio and your biography. Look, before you know it, man, you about to have a nice little press kit. You know what I mean? That you can send out, you know what I mean? And promote yourself. Feel me? Um, if you're in the L.A. area, if you're in the Los Angeles or Pasadena area, you know what I'm saying, and you're an artist and you need a photo shoot, call me. You know what I'm saying? Your boy, Mr. Wilson, and we'll arrange it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got my peoples that's going to you know, make it happen. You know what I mean? And if we can get some some photos of you clear, clean, you know what I'm saying? Get that up on the network. And I'm telling you, man, if you get some professional photos, submit the formal artist introduction, y'all may, you might even get a cover of the Wilson Black Magazine. Who knows? It's happened already. You know what I mean? Um, and then, uh, you know, every artist should also have a proper stage name. Okay. Now, when I say proper, I mean, you know, make sure that however, you know what I'm saying, you're going to spell your name. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever your name is going to be, have it set and and make sure that your name is spelled out the way that you want it to be promoted. You know what I'm saying? Um, some artists just kind of just put their name. They don't capitalize nothing. And, you know, it's, it's just not professional. You know what I'm saying? But when you have, you know, a proper stage name with your proper capitalization and your proper marks and everything that makes it identifiable, excuse me, identif- identifiable to you, you know what I'm saying? Or for you. Um, you know, that's, that's how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? So you got bing, bing, the bing, bing, you know what I'm saying? That's, um, a proper stage name because it's, it's, it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's done. Eminem, you know what I'm saying? That's a name that's, that's, you know, proper. You know what I'm saying? So make sure that, you know, you come up with your stage name and you format it to be official. You know what I mean? Um, and then, you know, a website and social media. You know what I'm saying? I can't really stress how important social media is. It, social media is these days um you know it's changing every day it's it's growing every day you know what i'm saying um every artist should have a website if you don't have a website which every local art you don't have to have a website but it does benefit um if you really have you know products and 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 you really have you know your craft to display you know you really might want to consider you know what i'm saying having a website you know these days it really doesn't take too much to build one um, you know, you might just have to pay a little bit, you know, if you want to, you know, brand it, you know what I'm saying, and make it yours and, you know what I'm saying, and not have any, uh, you know, ads and all that third party stuff. Um, and then social media is very important because, you know what I'm saying, that's like, you know, the essential way to communicate with your fans these days. And, uh, these are the basic things, man. Every local artist should have, man. You know what I'm saying? Get it together. Holla at your boy, Mr. Wilson. Uh, this has been an exclusive on Wilson Block 100 Radio Live, son. And I'm going to holler right back at you. I'm out. So I get a phone call. You know the usual. What you got on deck and tell me if it's pushable These little homies need a job, they know I'm their big bro Ask me how to make it flow, and I let these kids know How to break it down and keep your ass out of trouble Sell less in the market and still walk away with double Save money, eat well, full tank, no debt Keep the fam happy, stay alive and get them hoes wet It really ain't nothing but a whole lot of living Learning everything you can until it all becomes given They say it ain't easy being greasy and I'll tell you why It's hard to keep it simple, making it seem like you don't even try I'm bringing that greasy back 
back like a drop sentence. Back in the business like a new apartment building filled with tenants. And when it's that time, you know you need to get too high. Got your feelings too fly, staring up at a blue sky. It's like that. Now watch my empire strike back. It's episode five, bringing that attitude that'll fight back. You want the return of this too high? Well, I'm right here, bringing that moonshine while your phonies recycle life beer. And this is how we chill. All around the city to the top of the hill. Highs on the target, ready for the kill. If it's something that I feel, then you know we got a deal. It's serious. And this is how we chill. All around the city to the top of the hill. Highs on the target, ready for the kill. If it's something that I feel, then you know we got a deal. I still. I keep my squad full of strivers, survivors, achiever believers, and positive role models. So if you ain't on the path of growth and development, money always perishing and rarely inherited. Don't be an embarrassment. Listen close before you end up carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. My soldiers hail from the coldest corners of Southern California. Posted on the Block blowing marijuana, cause this is how we chill. All around the city to the top of the hill. Eyes on the target, ready for the kill. If it's something that I feel, then you know we got a deal. We see for real. It's the ghetto rebel of rap, but you ain't ready for that. I'ma be hip hop wherever I'm at, cause I'm a local legend. And I ain't so on record. Fuck the industry and how success is messed. The pin is how we chill. All around the city to the top of the hill. Highs on the target, ready for the kill. If it's something that I feel, then you know we got a deal. It's sealed. And this is how we chill. All around the city to the top of the hill. Highs on the target, ready for the kill. If it's something that I feel, then you know we got a deal. It's sealed. Like a call that you drive, but you gotta try to keep your eyes forward when you ride. Can't sit and watch life in the rear view mirror. That's the kind of shit to make a nigga go and tear up. I am like most, let the wheel go and steer us. Close my eyes, I don't wanna see where I end up. Coasting in the roller with the windows rolled up. Music on blast while I solo a whole blunt. I don't know what all the talk with seatbelts is about. In the car crash, I get my ass afloat right out. Feel like I'm losing ground, need to smoke right now. Just just got a full tank, won't stall for a while, yeah. Don't you even try, well, to backseat drive, yeah. Had a nigga be telling me that I, that I, that I need to watch the signs. Yeah, I know that I'm getting so don't you even try, to backseat drive, yeah. I had a nigga be telling me that I, that I, I just ran a red light. Man, I know that I'm with you. Now I'm going out driving Three extra seats So I'm asking who's riding Call us now packed with four riders Cause I don't really care For a backseat driver Talking about a shortcut Other safe roads that they know of Gapping about a speed limit Telling me to slow up and say Things like they don't know Where I'm going All a nigga need to know Is that my ass is on the way I get there when I get there Pedal to the metal Watch how I switch gears Fast 14 years I'm 21 years old It took the road where you Act up and drink beers, didn't think I'd be here But now I'm drunk, so steer clear Can't let them catch me up on no DUIs Plus I'm a high homie's life Did you see dude's eyes? Give me them keys I'm fine to drive, sit back and enjoy the ride Don't you even try to backseat drive yeah. Had enough to be telling me that I, that I need to watch the signs And I know that I'm doing so Don't you even try to backseat drive yeah. You're telling me that I, I just ran a red light Man, I know what I'm doing Now I'm just close to getting wiser off the mileage Turn the volume up and just nod to the vibe Sitting silence, just right Watching the sky for them dark clouds with the silver lining Because right behind them the sun is shining Even if it's hard to see through the windshield wipers When it gets too rough outside for you to try to drive Just hit autopilot, these things work themselves out I took my grandma's advice She been dipping for a minute on this road called life She done taught me how to drive so I know she right But that don't mean I listen to her every single time A nigga can't lie, I'm still trying Sometimes I swear my head is made of iron Cause even if I'm driving on my suspended license With 10 pound eyelids I still wouldn't let your ass drive my shit to backseat drive yeah. Had enough of you telling me that I, that I, that I need to watch the signs And I know 
Yeah, the people so good, you even try to backseat drive. I had enough, you yeah. telling me that I, I just ran a red light. Man, I know what I'm doing, but you even try to backseat drive. Yeah, I had enough, you yeah. telling me that I, that I need to. Seems the coppers killing people on a daily basis. Little kids, grown men and women at a fast pace. But here's the twist, they taking out a lot of melanin. If you're black and rich, you're dead. You're poor, you're labor felon, men. Leave your limbo, can't increase your tempo. Some only homeless cause they can't get their name on a rental. It's systematic, description hella adequate. Since I'm speaking on it, watch me vanish like a magic trick. We come from kings and queens, now we subjects. Young black in front of the hood, guess that made me suspect. Ignore my intellect and focus on the arbitrary. Fear my human come through strapped like the military. Stolen from my own hill hostage in a stolen home. And you confuse them, why so many niggas wanna hold the chrome? It's cause we paranoid. It ain't fun to read, y'all planted us here. We just became a product of the sea. Black privilege, get you choked out in the streets. Black privilege, get you shot for Skittles and tea. Black privilege, y'all little boys missing 13. Black privilege, my nightmares in American dream. Black privilege, get you choked out. Trenches still trying to figure out what I really gotta do to get my people out. Don't wanna see another casket after this paper rap. Right? Wanna see my folks free and want my city back. Know the looting it, gang tied, hope they're trucing it. Hope they understand them colors ain't worth losing it. Once a tombstone, no, ain't nobody moving it. Confess your sins to the G's above, cause mama losing it. Not the truth, black privilege. You should choked out in the streets. Black privilege. You should shot for Skittles and tea. Black privilege. Y'all little boys missing 13. Black privilege. Since my nightmares in American dream. Black privilege. You should choked out in the streets. Black privilege. You should shot for Skittles and tea. Black privilege. Y'all little boys missing 13. Black privilege. Since my nightmares in American dream. This ain't race car pulling. I don't play no games. No cheek turning over here. Better have me a grave. If you hate me for my color, say the shit to my face. They deceptively poison everything. Real life, real talk, I mean everything. Just take a look at the kids today. No fathers in the home, dead or locked away. Cause the system is corrupt and they plot and pray. On my people of color, but not today. No devil is a struggle, but somehow, some way. We gon' make it, you can find it in our DNA. We got Malcolms and Martin still alive today. Pineal glands open wide awake. They try to numb us and dumb us while they build the empires. They take and take till their arms get tired. Give us power and empire. Knowledge really is power. Black privilege. You should choked out in the streets. Black privilege. You should shot for Skittles and tea. Black privilege. Y'all little boys missing 13. Black privilege. Since my nightmares in American dream. Black privilege. You should choked out in the streets. Black privilege. You should shot for Skittles and tea. Black privilege. Y'all little boys missing 13. Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. And we got real life from Tacoma on the block with us today. What's good with it? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's good, bro? Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me, man. No doubt. Chilling, chilling, man. We honored to have you here for us for this exclusive interview with the Wilson Block. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's happening, though? Uh, man, we just got done rocking up at Washington Hall. Uh, it was a pretty dope little set, man. We did our thing. Um, no doubt. People liked it, you know, so uh, yeah, it was dope, man. Thanks for having us. Absolutely, man. Thanks for coming out, man. You know, we've been trying to, you know what I'm saying, connect for, you know, a couple months now, you know what I'm <laughs> a saying? Couple months now. And, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to make my way down there, and then <laughs> you was trying to meet me halfway, and then... We're moving and grooving, dog. You know what I mean? That's just, you know, time is everything, you know what I'm saying? But... I appreciate you because you was like, y'all, nah, man, we're going to be there that night. You know what I'm saying? 
And then you hit me today. You reminded me that you was <laughs> yeah. coming. I was just like, oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, nah, it's going down tonight. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I definitely have marked on my calendar, man. You know, I'm, I'm uh, trying to get out to as many shows as I can. You know, right. be building my... Uh, Building my momentum in this music shit. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, you know what I'm saying? When we first, you know what I'm saying, discovered you, you know what I'm saying? You was on tour, you know what I'm saying, from Washington all the way down to SoCal. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, tell us about it. Uh, it was uh, the Perspective Tour, man. It was kind of a, a, a pre promo to, to uh, garner a little buzz for my new project that I'm working on. Uh, my bad. So, we went, uh, we hit uh, Oregon, we hit California. Of course, okay. we did some stuff in Washington as well, too. Um, and Which I touched down in Pasadena though. You know what I'm saying? Did touch down in Pasadena. Old Town Pub. Down in Dana. <laughs> Shout out to Dana. Uh, and it's, man, I love it. Actually, that was my first show in uh, Pasadena, actually. The first time, first time in Pasadena. No as doubt. Well. I really feel bad that I wasn't down there to receive you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, it's there in spirit, dog. You think I would have been down there with nigga the homies, nigga? We would have been like, yo, bro, what's happening? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, real quick, man, go ahead and just give, you know what I'm saying, the audience a quick background. <laughs> uh, see on myself um, I didn't even really start out as a rapper I started out as a hype man for, for, another, for another rapper okay uh, for my partner Joe Gata and uh, I always had the front man personality you know right, what I'm saying right. and, and the, the, the drive for it but you know at the time you know I was I was green I didn't know shit you know what I'm saying so right. I was playing my position right and um, you know kind of sat back watched how everybody else was doing their thing mm-hmm. and then eventually um uh Someone heard had heard some of the uh, stuff that I wrote, but I never recorded it. But they heard it, you know, and it was right. like you should put that to some music. Right. So we did that, and uh, it's pretty much history since, you know. What I'm okay. Mm-hmm. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? What's what's some of the current and upcoming projects? My bad. Uh, I know you got uh, you know what I'm saying you got your CD on deck. You know what I'm saying? What was yeah? I got we got headphone music available now on all all. Uh, well, on almost, platforms, yeah, they're on the platforms, <laughs> yeah, everywhere, wherever your favorite one is. Um, we got some singles up there as well too. Um, we got a new video dropping for uh, a single called "Born Alone" that's coming on the next uh, album, which is called Perspective, mm-hmm. uh, and that's going to be dropping um, early to mid summer. Okay, uh, so we're you know we're it's leading up to that right now. Yeah, right yeah. On. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're so you got some singles that you pushing right now? Yeah, we got a single out right now called uh, uh, "No Strings Attached." You got a seat. Oh, the uh, no strings attached. Uh, that's actually hot right now. Hot okay. right now. It's no kind doubt. of vulgar. It's not for the youngins, but <laughs> but but the youngins actually love it though. You feel right, me? Right. Like, we've done a couple all ages shows where we probably shouldn't have rocked that shit, but yeah. they was feeling it. And um, <laughs> then we got uh, Born Alone, and then we got Black Privilege. Black Privilege is uh, out right now, featuring uh, Dip and uh, my boy Blessed. Okay, no doubt. Yeah. One hundred, one hundred. All right. So look, man. Before we jump, before we go any further in the music. You know what I'm saying? All the guests on my show, man, I, I really like to get, I really like to, you know, hear how, you know what I'm saying, life life was for them growing up in their town. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? For you, Tacoma, for you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, how was it for you? Well, I was I was born in Seattle. Okay. Um, but most of my uh, life, teen and adult life, was in Tacoma. Okay. Know? Uh, and this is for the for the the ones who don't know. This is back when Tacoma was two oh six. We two five three oh, now. Shit, this is like oh, like almost like twenty years we're talking about. Now. Right, yeah. right, right. Um, you know, the average the average teenage life. Man, I wasn't like a super popular kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, I was awkward in school. <laughs> what high schools you was you went to? Uh, I went to uh, uh, Wilson and Foss High okay. School. Um, I, I started out at Foss, and then uh, my mother moved to uh, Sp- uh, Spanaway Parkland area, which is where mm-hmm. Bethel. I went and uh, went to uh, high school there. So Bethel, uh, Wilson, and then Foss. So okay. Nine, ten, eleven. Well, honey, I moved this, around a lot, dog. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell me a little bit more about the time that that you know led you to start. You know, what I'm saying like rapping. You're saying because you say you was a hype man at first. Uh, yeah. Um, what that led me to rapping? I mean, I was always uh. Like writing, like poetry. Yeah, I was always okay. writing. I was writing. That was like even before, you know, music and thing. And um, I used to be like, the, I was the 
I used to sit in my room like all all day long and and listen to the radio and I would recite the music on the you know uh, that was playing in it. But I would right. like I would change the artist name, put my name right, instead, right, right. Got their you. city, yeah, you know, yeah, what I'm saying yeah, whatever. Same shit. <laughs> right. So I was mimicking them, but I never had you know thought the idea to put the two together. So right. it was something that was already there. Plus, like my dad was a DJ back in the day. My mother was a singer. You know what I'm right. saying? So it already rolled. My in grandma the was a go go dancer. Like there's oh, all shit. this stuff. Like all this stuff was already there you feel me right <clears throat> so uh it was like a natural progression oh no doubt yeah. okay so i mean you, you clearly been rocking a lot of shows you know what i'm saying a lot not you enough <laughs> i mean you came out tonight you know what i'm saying you did your thing you know what i'm saying got seven to pant out here you That's know what i mean guy. yeah yeah and you know what i'm saying i've been really moving and grinding you know what i'm saying like you know I, you, you, we see you you know what i'm saying <laughs> real talk so, you know what I'm saying? Tell me about, you know what I mean, the experiences. You know what I'm saying? I know it hasn't been, you know what I'm saying, you know, just uh, a cakewalk. Nah, nah, man. I wish you out. <laughs> Anybody that's ever been doing anything we're doing, no, it's no cakewalk at all. Um, a lot of stressful, a lot of stressful days um, that kind of, you know, balance out the, the good times. You know what I'm right, saying? It's right. not all partying and turned right. up and shit like that. Exactly. Uh, um, We've uh, borderline quit a few different times, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know, yeah, because yeah. of the stress and everything. But every time, every time we try to put this aside, music shit aside, or or you know, we go do a nine to five or whatever, right. whatever, right? Some somehow, some way, we always get forced forced back in this direction. You no feel doubt. me? Like the universe is like, you know, please direct y'all back to this right, path. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And so, uh, you know, it's. We just keep fucking running with it, you know right, what I'm saying? No until, <laughs> you know, until people tell us to stop. That's what I was saying up there when I got on the mic. I said, I'm just going to keep rapping until someone right, tells exactly. me to stop. You feel know <laughs> <what> I me? <mean? laughs> I'll bust out my right, whole track album. Track after track, real talk. I'll bust out my whole album, bro. I mean, you clearly came prepared, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And all yeah. your shit, you know, if, if they wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, paying attention, man, you could have probably got one or two more in, you know? <laughs> yeah, you feel know I me? Mean? But no, nah, it was on the time schedule, you know what I'm saying? So they, they knew what was happening, but. But um, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what's good. So, you know, tell me about, you know what I mean, some of some of the singles that you pushing right now, you know what I mean, and some artists that you're working with. All right, so uh you know, we got uh Black Privilege out uh it's available on all platforms as well, uh no strings attached. Um and uh Born Alone is available on some of the platforms, uh but they ain't got it out there yet till we dropped the video, which is coming soon. Um uh, shout out to my boy Seven the Panthers, one of the artists that we're working with now. He's got a new uh, album out called Math Volume One. Okay. Um, I already know that's bars, uh, bars, <laughs> bars all day. North Carolina bars. <laughs> yeah, you know I got to see his performance. You know what I mean? And it's crazy, man. That's crazy because right before I met him in here tonight, it was like. You know, instantly I was just like, "This is Seventh the Panther." Yeah, Seventh the Panther. I mean, like, I've seen the name. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. I've seen the, the 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 bills. You feel me? And I'm like, "This is Seventh the Panther." But you know what? I didn't know until I was just about to shake his hand. You know what I'm saying? And I was just like, "This is Seventh the Panther." Isn't it? <laughs> it, look, it look like it. <laughs> so it yeah, look, man. <clears throat> yeah, uh, and we we've been rocking. Um, I've only known it in like a couple years, but we've been rocking pretty tough. You know what I'm saying? No um, and uh, definitely one of the dopest artists that's, that's uh, migrated this direction. Um, you know, because a lot of artists ain't from here originally. Right. So uh, he's definitely one of the uh, good transplants. No doubt. What would you, you know, from your perspective, you know what I'm saying? What's the Tacoma scene like? You know what I'm saying? What would it look like from your perspective? Who's doing what? You know what I mean? As far as like who's who's like on top the the food chain? Well, I, w I wouldn't necessarily put it like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know, I mean, it is a competition out here, but com yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to see. You know, I mean, not even cats that are just buzzing, just 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 cats that are on your radar. You know what I'm saying? Oh, From okay. Tacoma. I mean, uh, outside of my own <laughs> collective, uh, but in the city of Tacoma. Yeah, in the city, in the city. Okay, okay. So, uh, uh, Rocky Sandoval. Okay. He's an R and B singer though, but you know, the motherfucker grooving. No doubt. Um Sonny Bunaho, shout out to Sonny. Sonny probably one of the most underrated motherfuckers in the whole state of Washington. <laughs> I'm just saying. No I'm just saying. <laughs> I may be I'm biased because he's my friend, but you know, I I've seen a nigga perform and I see what he does out here in for the town and around in and in and out the town. Yeah. At that. Um man, who else? Uh 
I'm gonna shout out the OGs, man, Luke Skywalker and Illizu. Uh you know, those cats of that came up. See, that's crazy. See, I was just telling <clears throat> the homie A son this, you know what I'm saying, a few months back, like you know, I come to Seattle and you think you heard it all till you hear like new artists, man. And you be like, you know, illism. I'm like, you know, it's just like every time I hear a new artist, it's like that shit just never gets, that never, and the create, the <laughs> creative names never stop, bro. It's just like, it's deep damn. Deep. damn. It's super, super illism. Deep no, deep. I haven't heard that yet, but damn, you know yeah. what I mean? That's, that's a hell of a motherfucker, nigga. Like, check him out. He, uh, he does, he's DJing a little bit too, man. Okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely check him out. No doubt, man. I mean, there's so many. It really is hard to like pin down and narrow down. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, who the top exactly. is, or you know, any of that shit. Those top ten lists, you know, it's just too tough. No yeah. doubt, man. Well, real quick, man, we're gonna take a quick break. You know what I'm saying? And when we come back, we're gonna talk about some inspiration and some influences. You know what I'm saying? Some challenges and rewards. You feel me? And uh, that's what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. This is real life. You know what I'm saying? On Wilson Block 100 Radio, y'all, son. Yeah. Right back. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving. One false step means my team's losing. Gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming. I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing. Gotta keep grinding, gotta keep climbing. There's no other way to go but up. There's no other way to go but up. Ain't no other way to go but up. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving. One false step means my team's losing. Gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming. I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing. From house to house, sleeping on the couch, have me feeling like Diddy. No way out. Fuck that, gotta get about this mess. But just can't put success to the GPS. Did it nine to five before the hustle game? Thought that shit was destiny. Living check to check, only paid the bills. Didn't get food stamps, paid cash for meals. Cruise the PT all over the city, cause I didn't have wheels to still survive to the bottom. Now I'm on the ladder, climbing to the top. And when I reach the top, I'm extending my hand, put my homies off the block. Short life, more than banging gang, slang a thing, sit back and watch it as long as I'm breathing, I'm keep breathing, season to season, gotta make sure my family's eating, it's my only reason for beasting this green leaf that I'm chiefing's alleviating my pain, while keeping me focused there from going insane. Gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving, one false step means my team's losing, gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming, I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing, gotta keep grinding, gotta keep climbing, there's no other way to go but up, there's no other way to go but up, ain't no other way to go but up, gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving, one false step means my team's losing, gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming, I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing, gotta keep grinding, gotta keep climbing, there's no other way to go but up, there's no other way to go but up, ain't no other way to go but up, made a decision, now my mission's to avoid going in prison, so I flipped the script on hustling, and started up my own business, now I'm on the road, killing shows, not quite ballin', but I'm getting dough, can't stop now, I'm on the road, got a good hand, I ain't gon' fold, I see you at the bottom, hoping I fail, he ain't shit, he ain't got skill, he won't come up, he ain't gon' sell, ain't real beat, but I bet I will, cause I'm deep in the game like a miner's drill, no chauffeur, I'm behind the wheel, had to fork in the road, which way do I go, when traffic in either direction is slow, do I stay in line, take to the skies where the airplanes, birds, and the Martians fly, well starting today, I'm up in the way, there's no other option left for me Made a lot of mistakes in my lifetime Took no sin, I learned from them Between me and y'all, they don't wanna see me ball But I'm not concerned with them Gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving One false step means my team's losing Gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing Gotta keep grinding, gotta keep climbing There's no other way to go but up There's no other way to go but up Ain't no other way to go but up Gotta keep moving, gotta keep grooving One false step means my team's losing Gotta keep dreaming, gotta keep steaming I'ma bust my ass till I stop breathing Gotta keep grinding, gotta keep climbing There's no other way to go but up There's no other way to go but up Ain't no other way to go but up Yes, sir. Welcome back to Wilson Back 100 Radio. We got real life from Tacoma, you know what I'm saying? On the back. Yeah, man, we here. Yes, sir. So, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you clearly, you know what I'm saying, ain't new to this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Being an artist and, you know what I'm saying, you know, do, putting in this footwork and, you know what I'm saying, just really living like the artist that you are, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just tell me a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, what inspires you to, to write songs and, you know what I'm saying, where, where you get, you know what I mean, your creative subject matters and stuff, you know what I mean? There is, like, literally everything, man, like, stuff I stuff I hear or research or see on TV, yeah. you know what I'm saying, it's like walking down the street or personal experiences, you know, right. life in general, and, you know, it's all ties into the name, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. all of that, like, all of this is my inspiration, you know, and you can hear it in the songs, you know, the, the, the content that I talk about. Now, do you think that, you know what I'm saying, the the gray skies in Seattle, you know what I'm saying, the rain in Seattle has an effect on people? 
You know what I mean? It's like, I, I think there was a fucking scientific study on that, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, 85% sure they did a study on that. Yeah. And that actually, it is legit. Like, you feel it. Like, but it's, it's a state of mind, really. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's dreary out here a lot, but, you know, people are still smiling. And right. Still I mean, yeah, it's like, still, still you know? cool. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that does affect, because when, when I went to California, you know, it's like sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah, sunshine. Man, I miss it, man. I miss my California sunshine. <laughs> I, miss, I miss California sunshine, too. You know what I mean? It was every day. You know what I'm saying? It was like, you know what? Like, for the first time ever, like, for the first time ever, bro, I'm really like, Looking forward to a California summer. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a California summer right about now. But, <laughs> hey, they got some hot summers, bro. I feel it. I gotta get down as much as possible. That's where my kids are at. Oh, no doubt. Yeah, We're yeah. in LA? Uh, I, my oldest son is in Sacramento, and okay. my, my twins live in LA. For sure. Right. Yeah, man. LA is, LA is, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's home, man. You know what I mean? First time I went down there, man. Uh, like the first time I went to Cali. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I went to LA first. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, up here is 60 miles per hour on the freeway. Okay, I five five up here okay. in uh, Washington is uh, I five is six miles per hour. Mm-hmm. So like, all my life I've been driving sixty. Like oh, going to California, I'm driving on the freeway, I'm doing sixty. Cars is <laughs> zipping by, oh, blowing the horn, five, flipping, like, flipping me off. Like move yeah. off the <laughs> Yeah, California, wow, man. Yeah, it's, you know what I'm it's, it's fun though. I liked it. It's definitely different dynamics. You know what I'm saying? Different, different. You know, there's trade offs and you know what I'm saying different. Um, a lot of similarities though, man. Uh, I mean, people wise, you know what I'm saying? Like I met some, I met some dope ass cats down there. You know. Yeah. Uh, just like here, yeah, and then but at the same time, some assholes down there too, you know. But right. uh, same there, you know. Absolutely. <clears throat> so yeah, man. Who who are some you know what I'm saying influential figures? You know what I'm saying in your life. Uh, musically, just in general. Well, musically, yeah. Oh, musically. Um, man. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, like uh, Logan Illism and yeah. uh, Joe Gotta and um, like even like David Hayes. Uh, like people that I grew up uh, bounce fucking breed. Um, twist, you know, the nugs, nugs yeah, yeah, yeah. all those cats that, you know, that I kind of, uh, these were my friends, these are just friends, you know what I'm saying, friends and family shit that we hung out with, and they were already rapping and making beats and shit like that, you right, know what I'm right. saying, so I'm just kind of like, hanging out, like, oh, soaking it, it all in, in. soaking it all just in, just being a part of it, yeah, you know, soaking it all in, like, not trying to, you know, like, be, being, you know, the man or whatever, right. just kind of just, you know, being there. learning the shit, whatever, right, right. and, uh, uh, like those were my main influences because those were the people who I were around. But you know, also I watched a lot of BET, a lot of MTV, yeah, yeah. VH1, <laughs> VH1 Soul. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of music videos. You know, I uh, listen to music a lot. You know, when I have my headphones, my radio, you know, whatever TV, I got satellite. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, so I find inspiration from all that. But my main influences come from that core group of people that, yeah. you know, I was trying to trying to be like when I grew up. So you, you mean some of those guys still around? Yeah, like uh, Black Privilege uh, features two of, two of the guys that uh, dip and um, Bless is on there. Uh, my boy Twist doesn't really rap anymore, but he sometimes makes beats and still. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of homies moved to Arizona, but they out there making music as well too. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I mean, we're not, we not connected physically, but right. you know what I'm saying? We're connected still. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? What, what's been like some of the challenges, you know what I'm saying, that you face along the way, you know what I mean? Just pursuing a career in music, you know. And, uh, and um, I mean, I know there's not no try, one try, thing. Try, but well, the the main like one of the main things is like trying to maintain like you know positive attitude. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Because this is this is real stressful shit. It really is, you know. Man. And like for the people that really love love it, right? When when you don't see you have this idea of what success looks like, whatever you know, what I'm saying you have goals, shit, you know. And when you we're not able to meet that, or you know, right? Like it, you, know, you get discouraged. You know what I'm saying? So, like, the idea of quitting happens a lot. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, trying to maintain a positive attitude and stay encouraged to keep going is probably the most difficult challenge. Yeah. Out of all of it. Real talk, man. Wow, you just made that, you just said that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, ain't no more. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, real shit. Like, that was just bad. That was, like, a good summary. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like real talk, though, man. You know, I'm just as an artist person, I, I experience it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, you know, I could definitely, you know what I'm saying, agree with that, you know? I don't know some talented people who gave up, you know what I'm saying, because it it was just too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying, that's that's you know, part of it, you know what I mean? But the, you know, know the, the 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 benefit, like see now now the shit shit's changed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at first it was just like the idea of being an artist. Like we can still be successful, like as a company, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And bring on new talent. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I can nurture the next smug. Right. You know what I mean? Like box it, right? Uh say so we say, uh I might not be the one to change the world, but spark I spark the brain of the person exactly. that will. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's it. Like I've always been aware that uh 
because I went to school for audio video production too. Okay, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, about that, man. I've always been, I've been aware, like behind the scenes, they make that's where exactly. the money that exactly. It's like it's like even with making music, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You would think the performing artist was, you know what I'm saying? The producer eats. You know what I'm saying? The producer or the writer. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't write even that, you know what I'm saying? Then that sucks. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you just the performer, you know what I mean? Unless you already like a Beyonce or a Daisy, you know what I'm saying? Where you know what I'm saying with Beyonce. When I realized she did the song that was written by Neo, you know what I mean? I'm like. Okay, but well she could do that. Right. She's already established. You know what I mean? Right. But like, you know, that's a, the the benefits of like ASCAP, BMI. You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that. That the producer and and, and writer can get paid. Right. If they're, 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 you get a good song, get a hit, exactly. man. Exactly. That's your that's your sitting or you know what I mean? <sighs> yeah, you know, especially in my case, I'm a songwriter. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, what yeah. I mean? we just you know, I really been so focused on creating my own thing. You know what I'm saying? And not just doing it the traditional way that. You know what I mean? Uh, Different is good, man. Yeah. You, can, you can say that, you know, one is lost in the sauce, but then again, it's like, you know what I mean? We where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, like, I know exactly what you're saying. Like, I, got, um, I try not to fucking, uh, I was just thinking this earlier today. That's wild. That's wild. This, you know, this, this shit right here yeah. is why <laughs> I keep going. You know what I'm right, saying? Exactly. And, and, and like, what if, I, if I wouldn't tell you what I'm about to tell you, you don't even know, right? But I was literally thinking this morning that every time, there's a pattern. Every time some negative shit happens or something that I perceive to be negative or directly uh-huh. affects me, right, and, and takes me off of what the universe is telling me to do, uh-huh. right? Every time that happens, right? When I give it attention, when I focus on it, it suffers, right? But when I, when I look at this and I, like, discern, you know, discerning eyes and, and trying to figure out, you know... Conscious, conscious thought effort, process. Conscious right. effort to not lose my fucking cool. Right, right. Right? <laughs> Straight right? When I do that, when I successfully do that, right. almost immediately... Bro, I'm not shitting you. Almost immediately, every time. Not always, but almost immediately, every time. Like, I'll get, like, a like an email or some good news. Or I'll get a phone call. Or I'll fucking a text. Or Breakfast. I'll see something, you know what I'm saying? Like, something, something, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Almost immediately afterwards. And it's it, it's so wild, but it's, uh, I can look back and, and see this on countless occasions. You know? Wow, that's deep. But, uh, you know, I'm only human, so sometimes I'd be like, fuck. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> You feel me? <laughs> Which, I mean, I know. I was going to ask you about the rewarding things, but that, that sounds like you pretty much covered it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, moments like this and, you know what I'm saying? Being able to, like, you know, you know, there's times where, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's about me for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I get to yeah. talk about, you know what I'm saying? What it is I've been up to. And, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. You know what I'm right. saying? So those little little breaks. You know what I'm saying? Now, now I'm going to start looking at it like, hold on. Okay, now, nah, that's some fucked up shit. Bro. Okay, but hold on. You know what I mean? Like, part of this fucked up shit. Yeah. Okay. I know there's some fucked up shit. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. And see, you say, everybody got choices, dog. Real talk. And then how you react. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that fucking, uh, that impulse gets you fucked up. Right, real you know talk, what I'm saying? Yeah, Put you in a bad position. A lot, of, a lot of niggas, you know, been in some bad positions because of impulse. Yeah, know? yeah. I can, I can definitely, right. I definitely got <laughs> a testimony to that. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. You know what I mean? Like, you know, yeah. just learning to control the passion. You know what I'm saying? Right. To, you know what I'm or saying? Directed exactly. It. Thanks to the channel. Something. The channel, that's the word. So, yeah, man. That's right. what's up. Right. You know what I mean? We got to shoot that game. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so these are the next guys, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, so I'll be different examples, man. Mm-hmm. You know? But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? That's what's cracking, you know what I mean? Uh, you got, like, you know what I'm saying? Any bars, you know what I'm saying? For the people, you know what I mean? Our audience want to hear bars, man. Yeah. Um, right. If you got some bars, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and hear something. <laughs> All right. Uh, spit at you with the spiritual. Never dumb it down to a lyrical. But a better MC than me, that's a miracle. Like a nun in the centerfold. Yeah, see they did try, but I'm giving them props. Time is almost up, though. Give me that watch. My circles on a nigga like hands on a clock. Keep a hand on a pen, no hand on the Glock. Counting so many blessings these days. Life is throwing many lessons my way. Passing with flying colors, all A's. We grinding for money, no minimum wage. They gonna be mad. We gonna be paid. Smile on my face, look in their face. Totally amazed at how far we came. From just a peasant, they crowding me king. Never take it for granted. Do it for granny. My mammy, my kids, and my family, that's manly. I'm planning to hand in the keys to the mansion, the keys of expansion, vacation, the keys in the Hamptons too. Plot and plan the moves. Like, execute. Like, windows through the soul, we see them through. Ooh. Meticulous madness with a method. Play the right pieces like Tetris. They dumbing you down, killing unarmed melanin, cause your mind is a weapon. Third eye blind when you're stressing. Life's a long time when you're capping. So, unless you accept it, then you gotta own the boat and be the motherfucking captain. True that. <laughs> In this real life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, that was exclusive bars, you know what I'm saying? From real life, you know what I mean? And, you know, just like the homie from uh, Pasadena, you know what I'm saying? Zoniac McGee. That, you know, he'd be like, in real life, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, you know, I'm doing with some in real life bars. Shout you know? to the homie. <laughs> exactly, man. So, yeah, man, real life has been exclusive, you know what I'm saying? We really appreciate you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, you know, you know, I'm not I'm not from Seattle, you know what I'm saying? But you came through the city, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Held it down. We're, we're a very welcoming city, you know what I'm saying? man. This is, this is like statistically this is like one of the most diverse states in the country you know no so, like, people come here a lot 
Real talk. Bro, a lot. I mean, I said earlier that not a lot of people from, that are here or from here are really meant that shit. Right. I mean, that's real shit. A lot of transplants, you're right. Because you know the military, we got um, large uh, military bases here, too. You know what I'm saying? Join the Lewis McCord, you know what I mean? So a lot of soldiers you know, come from all over. Plus right, right. Shit, you know? No doubt. See, man, you got any shout outs you want to drop before we cut out? Uh, shout out to my peoples, Crown of Kings Entertainment, DJ Escrow, Lil Coco, Thirds Productions, uh, Kush Crew, uh, Seven the Panther. Uh, you know, shout out to my family, of course. No doubt. And uh, to the town, Northwest representing. That's what it is, man. What's the black one, honey? You know what I'm saying? It's real life. You know what I mean? What's the black one? Thank you, and It's exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Exclusive. We out. Back on the years, yeah. the good, the bad, the ugly, the cheers and the jeers uh-huh. came a long way. Still, I got so far to go. Right. Walking solo on this road, music blasting in my headphones. Where I'm headed, only God knows. God knows. But I'm breaking barricades in every time zone. Time zone. Shameless what I'm doing here. Yeah. No, yeah. if you haters say I won't, say I won't. fuck them, watch me prove it, kid. Uh-huh. Well, let's talk more action. So I cut the celly off, cop some new shoes with good traction. Gotta keep it moving towards what I'm pursuing. Tunnel vision on my vision, so it's all consuming. No more distractions from completing missions. Universe be talking loud, just gotta pay attention. Uh, gotta make them wise decisions. No compromise positions. All press to find some fiction. Real life is what I'm living. When the sidewalk comes to an end, that's when the real journey begins. You can go with the flow of the wind, or you can stand still and watch the world spin. Come on, when the sidewalk. Change, but we ain't all season. Veteran brain, I be chest thinking. Under my chest beating, peak the bloodline from a line of G's that hustle harder when it's crunch time. Take my cues from yesterday's lessons. Expressing aggressive with studio sessions. Uh, the less I'm stressing, more progressing and blessing. So I maintain my focus like some camera lenses. Yeah, steady grinding like an entrepreneur. Man, it's all business when I walk through the door. And no time for games when it is. I play with my kids and I get them in the summer till then. I handle my biz. I view the sky from new horizon eyes. Flying high, wingspan worldwide. I'm touching lies on other continents. Hard work pays off, so I'm paid for my accomplishments. The journey of a thousand miles begins with step one. Place your shoes. Prepare to go the distance. Prepare to go the distance. A lot of distractions along the way. Keep a tunnel vision. Keep a tunnel vision. Take the road less traveled, you gon' find your way. When the sidewalk comes to an end, that's when the real journey begins. You can go with the flow of the wind, or you can stand still and watch the world spin. Come on, when the sidewalk comes to an end, that's when the real journey begins. You can go with the flow of the wind, or you can stand still and watch the world spin. When the sidewalk comes to an end, that's when the When the real journey begins You can go with the flow of the wind Or you can stand still and watch the world spin Hey yo, what's good with it y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio Live You know what I mean? And I'm here to talk about something that I ain't really too cool with these days You know what I mean? I'm gonna use Wilson Block 100 Radio to convey the message, okay? I want LeBron James out of Los Angeles and true Angelinos do too. Okay, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But real quick, we're going to get into this first track. You know what I'm saying? By Yancey Deron. I'm from Pasadena. And you know what it is, man. Real Angelinos coming at you. Let's get a bar, son. Since 1995, nigga. 
sent it to hospital, boy on the racks. Yeah. I done damn near seen it all in my city. <laughs> I love Dina. Right on the Altadena, 10 minutes from LA. True Dina boy, cause 110 is my birthplace. Go far west, you hit the ghetto. Too far east, you see the white folks that settle. City of the roses, nigga, go ahead and smell them. And sometimes they dipped in all blue, shout out to Kelly. Most of the time, them pedals redder than the devil. Say the wrong words, them niggas get to playing heavy metal. Summertime come round, Glocks come out of boxes Seasonal weed men knocking niggas for profits Exit off the 210, make it right and bend the corner And bet we be hot on you like a sauna Nigga, I'm from Pasadena N Nigga, I'm from Honey, ten is my birthplace True Dina boy, cause I'm right, right on the outdoor City of the rose, nigga, nigga, go ahead and smell it I'm from Pasadena I'm in a city where the cops will kill ya Small town niggas knowing if you're not familiar Too hot to rock chinchillas, we just rock concealers On the everyday grind till our pockets fill up I'm a profit pilgrim, travel for collateral But it was on the east side when I took the antidote yes. Four blocks from Lake Avenue, more of it's the attitude Don't let the grass fool ya Cause you can get a bar like Abdusha Or a club owner I'm your neighborhood provoker yeah. Blunt roller, yeah. crushed okra You probably catch me in some red loafers Cause I'm from Pasadena yeah, Nigga, nigga, I'm from Paris Won't we'll let the grass fool you City where the cops will kill you I'm a proper pilgrim More of this attitude Nigga, I'm from Pasadena Nigga, I'm from Pasadena Okay. Boom, pow, as I enter. My residence is evident, Pasadena's my center. And I've been bringing wood, you would swear that I had a splinter. And eating rappers alive, you would swear I had them for dinner. I mean, I mean, the clock is stopping for me. So yeah, I got Benjamins, but I'm always up on Washington Street. So yeah, I'm so bright, get behind the cop and they stopping for me. Watch your mouth in this city, man. I got the lock and the key. Whoa. Um, wanna know what the fear I'm about? Lately we clearing them out cause we tired of hearing their mouth So I'm just showing the interest and yeah. hoping you know the difference Just yeah. know my only intentions to know what only be mentioned I'm from Pasadena Pasadena Just, just know my only intentions to know what only be mentioned Whoa, whoa Um, my residence is it, watch your mouth I'm eating rappers alive I'm from Pasadena Nigga, I'm from Pasadena Smell of roses. roses, the true West Coasters, most us walk around, birth in the ground, don't bristle soldiers. Right around the wood, you standing there, Elizabeth, as we stream down our journey on the lake. Niggas muscling up in the gym with the plates. Niggas pockets is fat, eating gems on the plate. Hanif say we got old gangsters, old money, Kenneth Coniston dreams. Head up north to Boston, all to the cuss in the scene. Boy, that boy, I clean from the west of the scene. I say west with an S and I walk. With a lean, born and bred in the land of the kings. N nigga, I'm from Pasadena, Pasadena. The true West Coast, and I say West with a rest, with a rest, with a rest. I walk with a lean from the west to the sea. Before that boy, I cleave. Nick, Nick, nigga, I'm from
yes, sir. We are back on Wilson Block 100 Live. That was I'm from Pasadena by your boy Yancey Deron fam. You know what I mean? But yeah, we're going to talk about why we want LeBron James out of L.A. You know what I mean? And first and foremost, I'm going to go ahead and have to say Nipsey Hussle, the gang, all these, you know what I'm saying? Big cats, high profile artists and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? From L.A. that are all good with LeBron James playing for L.A. Lakers, man. I'm going to have to disagree with you. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm not saying that you any less of an Angelino because that'll be blasphemy. You know what I mean? But, you know what I'm saying? True Angelinos, come on, man. When LeBron James come to L.A., you know what I'm saying? Those who got money, yeah, they going to love to ride because they got money to enjoy the time. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that as a broke dude, but I'm saying that as a real Angelino. Like, listen, man, if you really live through Kobe Bryant... And, you know, let's let's be honest here. OK, LeBron James coming to play for Los Angeles for the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and trying to catch Kobe's five in L.A. Come on, man. You cool with that, bro? You know what I'm saying? You could have went anywhere in the country and you want to come to a team who the last superstar, the greatest player to ever play on the team, you know, really set a standard of, you know, uh, playing for one team his whole career. You know what I'm saying? Playing 20 full seasons with one team. You know what I mean? So LeBron James coming to Los Angeles to play for the Lakers, man. I do not respect that legacy, bro. I would have respected you more if you stayed in Cleveland. I'm sorry about the circumstances and it's about you wanting to ring. But I don't understand how y'all, no one's mad at LeBron James. Y'all all mad at Kevin Durant for going to the Warriors. But ain't nobody mad at LeBron James for jumping around from team to team. You know what I'm saying? And he's been chasing, you know, stacked teams his whole fucking career. You know what I'm saying? Let me just be real about it. OK, went to, when he went to the heat, he wouldn't have went to the heat if it wasn't no potential there. He wouldn't have went to L.A. if it wasn't no potential there. You know what I'm saying? So as far as LeBron James playing for L.A., I don't like it. I don't think it's cool. And I'm not really looking forward to the season. Now, I'm going to watch and I'm going to be rocking with Golden State because it's still California. You know what I mean? But, you know, all the hype of LeBron coming into L.A. is 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 tending to supersede the greatness of Kobe Bryant and the legacy that he laid there. Kobe Bryant is the king of L.A. Kobe Bryant stayed in L.A., struggled with L.A., brought five rings to L.A. There is no argument here. You know what I'm saying? The only argument that you have is that, you know, LeBron James is a basketball player. He's a good dude. Let him come to L.A., make his money and win. OK, there it is there. But at the bottom, the bottom line with us, the real Angelinos is. Y'all up here painting murals of LeBron James and already calling him the king. And look, I'm in Seattle, man. Yesterday, just yesterday, I seen the cat walking down the street with a LeBron Lakers shirt on. You know what I mean? I was hot. You know what I mean? I was hot just to see that, man, before you even play one game. So, you know, the Angelinos that are rooting for LeBron to play for L.A., man, y'all just a bunch of bench warmers. And I think that, you know, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going, that's, that's just where I'm at with that. You know, I don't care how you feel about it. I'm just going to go ahead and, and, and put myself there because it's all about Kobe Bryant, man. You know, I lived through Kobe Bryant. I lived through, you know what I'm saying, the end of Michael Jordan's career. And I'm not going to live to see LeBron James come to LA and win any championship. Okay. Uh, trying to catch Kobe's five. You know what I mean? And, uh, that's really what it is, man. Go ahead and share your opinions, man. You know what I mean? Um, it's just, I'm just not okay with it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I'll probably touch back on this subject later, but real quick, we're going to get back into some local music. You feel me? This right here is your boy K Stone. Been through it. Ghetto gospel. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ghetto preacher. You know what I'm saying? Go and get that up off the Wilson block and we're going to lace it. Be right back. Been through it, them lonely nights in my cell I've been down for a minute, I ain't doing well I'm going through it, shedding tears from the turn mail Yeah, shedding tears from the turn mail I've been through it, them lonely nights in my cell I've been down for a minute now Yeah, I've been down for a minute now Reading the Lord's Prayer, get me there All I know is hit a lick and burn rubber on him I'm out the 80s when my niggas go bananas on him I've been through it, my brody up in heaven on me My other homie in the county facing murder charges Bouncing out with the toy, nigga, I'm really ancient Cause life on the side, nigga's really dangerous You fucking with them niggas who ain't sliding for you It's a life, it's an image, you gotta have home I've been through it, them lonely nights in my cell 
I've been down for a minute, I ain't doing well. I'm going through it, shitting tears from the turn mail. Yeah, shitting tears from the turn mail. I've been through it, them lonely nights in my cell. I've been down for a minute now. Yeah, I've been down for a minute now. Yeah. Reading Lord's Prayer, get me there. Reading kites for my brody, got me teary eyed. I can't wait to cross paths just to be my nigga. I heard the hood did a fuck him, I'm choosing sides. I've been through it from the county to that pen, nigga. I'm up top with it when that Yankee's going off. Pop a rolling stone is hard to keep the blood out of us. I've been through it, I've been grinding through them gray sips. I've been serving mama praying that I get rich. A little muscle, keep a nigga safe here. It's Roseville with them hitters hitching from the rear. Yeah, ain't no ducking from the opposition. We going through it, burning candles, got me on this mission. Oh, it's ugly, my environmental. See this vital penetration, trying to hit the middle. My little booty in the ground, still a hurt nigga. You got to ride, never fold when you going through it. Full of bacon soda, feeding for your crack high. Bitch, I'm spitting cocaine and cut. 